As the world remembers the late Kobe Bryant, well-wishers are leaving flowers in front of his family's estate in Newport Coast. Similar tributes are happening for the other victims of that fatal flight. That's right, Jeff. Seven other people were on board that fatal flight. Seven people whose friends and families are honoring their memories today. Here is CBS2 Orange County reporter Michelle Gili with more on the remembrances. Uh, the 14 is his is his player number. And you'll notice his signature right above it. There's something new on the baseball field at Orange Coast College in Costa Mesa to honor legendary coach John Altabelli, who was killed on Kobe Bryant's helicopter one year ago, along with eight others. Altabelli's big sister was one of the first to bring flowers for John, her sister-in-law Carrie and niece Alyssa, who were together that fateful day. Well, the tears come back awful quick. And I knew they would today. I'm not done crying yet, but it feels good to be here because I know his presence is here too. So that's why I came. It's natural for mourners to gather here. Altabelli was at the helm for 28 years until his death. Officials say the beautiful stadium is a result of Coach Altabelli's dedication and fundraising for the program and its players. It's known as the house that Alto built. When I start thinking about Alto and his family, I can come out here with a cup of coffee and, and sit in the stands and stare at the, the field and just feel good. Meantime, tonight a fundraising concert is being held virtually to honor Huntington Beach wife, mom and basketball coach Christina Mauser, who died in the crash. Her musician husband Matt wrote her a song called Lost. Lost. Like a boat on the sea, I've been tossed. I'm sad a lot. And I think the best thing to do is acknowledge when you're sad and maybe just say, I'm, and, 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 you know, sometimes I need to dismiss myself and just kind of, you know, cry or just kind of be quiet for a little bit. And then I can come back out and be dad again. Back in Costa Mesa, people trickled into OCC Pirates Baseball Stadium. Even after a year, it's where they feel closest to the Altabellis. The gates leading to the field here at Orange Coast College will remain open for much of the evening so people can come and spend time at the place where John Altabelli spent most of his career. In Costa Mesa, Michelle Geely, CBS 2 News.